Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101 hey Okas never hold doubt on what you can manifest or overcome what you uh what you discover may shock you it is true you know a lot of times we have gone through so many different things in our life where happiness was very short-lived you know, very, you know, we're not experienced with that. Sometimes we lack love, we lack confidence, we lack belief, faith, and all these different things. And it was led for us to go through these different situations for us to be able to see the key component. You know, it's just like you watch it a movie. I'm, I'm the type of person, okay, if I'm drawn to this movie, what's the subliminal? What is God wanting me to learn? What is universe is trying to tell and teach me that the reason why I feel so dead set on wanting to watch this movie or reading a book. What is this subliminal of this book that I really need to find out what is being taught to me? Because I tell anybody, you know, you've been with me for a while. You have heard me say, you know, anything that is like a hobby to you or something that you really love and care about, um, that you're very compassionate about, um, you're you're gonna uh there's different ways that universe is going to communicate through you through your talents through your interests you know through your hobbies and stuff like that there's certain things you may overlook because a lot of times we get upset because we may have uh you know, um, having to re redo certain cycles because you're tired of being with certain people or you're just tired of that atmosphere or just that environment. And a lot of times you have to understand there may be certain things that you are not paying attention to. There, You know, because a lot of times we can keep focused on what somebody's done, you know, what they keep doing, you know, how to get on the nerves and stuff like that. But it's just like anything I've learned from mine, it's just like it showed me where, you know, if I allowed people to walk over me or if I felt like I've had to have these people in my life because I don't like being alone. You know, all these different things that showed me where I had to become my own best friend. You know, solitude has been very peaceful for me. You know, I was going through so many different things where I felt like I needed friends by my side and all these different things. And it's not saying, you know, the people that support me, I'm not saying that you ain't my friend or anything like that. Or, you know, talking bad about the people that, you know, you know, stabbed me in the back or anything like that. It was all lessons, you know. I got to that point where I stopped seeing everything as negative and positive. It was about things I had to learn about myself. Different things that was taught to me that I can teach other people or different things they can teach me by, you know, me being a student to that experience. You know, it's something I needed to learn. And, you know, I held heavy doubt in myself. Even when I didn't, you know, people were like here and they were like, girl, you strong, you this and this and that. You don't know behind closed doors, I hold heavy doubt because it was so many different things that was running against me. Me, to make me doubt my own existence and I had that point where girl you better keep it real and keep it realer than real with yourself it don't matter who you uh, who other people are but you got to come real with yourself first you know you can conquer anything if you put your mind to it you can do anything if you keep your mind to it when you can be determined to be doing something that is very irrelevant but you trying to make it relevant into your life just think about the things you can do just to better yourself you know we've been going after a girl or a guy that we really wanted in our life and come to find out it wasn't all that that we thought it was and it's not to you know pinpoint anybody that you know like oh you ain't about nothing nothing like that but that was that experience you had to go through you know and it's just like a lot of times we figure out how come we can't get somebody who can truly see our worth or truly, you know, we feel unappreciated. Because it's just the fact is, is what are you giving yourself that same kind of, you know, vibration that you want to receive from other people? That's where you have to question yourself at. If you're not putting that growth on yourself and saying, I'm not going to tolerate nobody disrespecting me and going to tolerate somebody, you know, you know, cheating on me, doing this. Then you, when I tell you, start closing doors to all that, or even when it approaches you, you already know that's the same vibe. They're coming up, like people, are like, "Dang, why wasn't you even giving me a chance?" You are not divinely altered for for me. Okay, this is nothing but an experience, an experience that I don't want to touch, an experience I'm not trying to experience again. You know, it'd be like the exes. It ain't no example, but you know, it's not an ex, but it's an example that I will never repeat again. But I appreciate those experiences that I went through. You know, 
Because there's times that I doubted myself. There's times that other people saw the power in me just because of the things that I talked about, things I was comfortable with placing on this platform. You know, allow myself to be judged by anybody. And it's just like, at that point, I had to allow myself to stop worrying about what people think about me. Stop worrying if they don't believe me or not. You know, or, you know, where they're carrying this to, how they're talking about me in the streets. And it's just like, I had to be able to allow myself to stop, like, stop giving so many people so much power over your life. It's how you see your own self. It's how you define your own self. Whatever you have went through, whatever trauma that you have faced, and you continue to face, that doesn't define you. The person that defines is how you conquer those situations. How you stood unstoppable. You stood strong. Even when you had to stand alone. Because a lot of times we have people in our lives and it's like I never take anybody that is for granted. I never do. And you know, and I had to learn to not say that. And I'm just grateful for all the things that happened in my, in my life, including the people that did me wrong, you know, and I had to allow myself to say, you know, because it was very hurtful to me. And it got to that point where I love my purpose. But if it's going to take for me constantly getting stabbed in my back by people I generally care for, showed admiration for, you know, encouragement, all that for they can do that to me. And I had to be, a, be able to understand that sometimes we all got something that we, we need to work on. You know, we are our own walking trigger. If there's somebody who gets irritated by you just for you being calm or just being nourishing towards that person, you have to understand they may not have gotten that type of vibe, you know, that vibe from anybody before. You know, you're very rare, you know, and there's different things where I had to be able to tell myself because I will always beat myself up. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to help nobody no more because every time I help somebody, I end up burning, getting burnt in the process for it. And then I had to get at that time, like, not everybody is coming into your life to seek and destroy. Now, I'm saying they ain't. Some people is already on it. You know, your name is being placed out there. You know, and people are trying to see, let me see if I can trick her. Let me see if I can do that. Because I've seen some of the stuff. I'm like, are you serious? You really thought I was going to fall for that? You know, or different things where I actually fell for it. And it was like, oh, shoot, I need to learn that lesson anyway. I ain't going to feel bad about it. And just keep moving and still be wishing them folks well wishes I wish them well and I'm not saying that to be funny or be cocky I really do because we all are hurting in some kind of way we are all struggling with certain battles that nobody understands and we have to be able to get that you know there's going to be people that are not going to take you for granted and it's truly going to appreciate your presence because they see that in you they're seeing there's something about powerful about that person you know and that's the person I need to rock with and it's not going to be you know, they're going to take people out your life, but you had to learn lessons through those connections with the other people that you had to be around. You had to learn connections for the different things and stages of your growth that you were going through. This is how it shows you where you are, where your issues are. Because anything, something comes to the surface where somebody has done something, somebody has said something, you know, that's showing you where your healing needs to take place. You're putting too much power in somebody who's trying to project how they feel about themselves by placing that on you, you know. You, you putting too much energy in somebody who's going out their way to constantly misunderstand you while you're trying to force that understanding on them when they're no, they don't want to. You know, they are, they're going to be stuck in their own ways and you just need to let them be stuck in their own confusion. And that's showing you never have doubt in yourself, you know. Never have doubt in yourself. You know, a lot of times we allow ourselves to stay up at night about going through a checklist of what I could have did better. For this person to see me for who I am. What I could have did. Because a lot of times, you know, I, I can admit, I've had people in my life. And there are different people that we done shared our war stories on toxicity. You know, where we place so much love in it thinking that, oh, my love can change this person. You have to understand. A person ain't going to change until they allow themselves to change. You can't force nobody to heal. You can't force nobody ever to see, you know, where you're coming from. And you, you want to have those people that are wanting to understand you. You give them that time of day. Because there's a lot of times we find somebody really genuine. You know what I'm saying? Because we normalize fake fakery. We, we, we uh, normalize toxicity. But when somebody's coming into your life peacefully, want to see you, you know, want to support you, want to encourage you, you know, want to keep it real with you. They, they're going to call you out on your, certain things where they know you can do better or they see where you're slacking and they trying to get in your behind because you're slacking. There's a lot of times that we don't normalize so much fakery and free. You know, when something acts to come in genuine, all of a sudden we hostile. Wait a minute. You know, and I had to think about that because there's a lot of different things where I've come in connection and people told me, Rosa, I'm not used to people being nice to me. I'm not used to people, you know, coming to me genuine and really want to see the good in me because they've seen different things and they, you know, they mock me for the things that I said I wanted to do. Or there's different things that I said I was going to do. Next thing you know, they stole, 
you know, different things that I say I want to do and they did it themselves, you know. And then when somebody finally come into your life, now that's a gift. When you finally come into somebody's life and you want to see them grow, you check up on them, you wish them well, you know, and you're being mean for everything you have. You don't have no hidden motives, motives no um, toxic intentions or anything like that. And people start getting fidgety. You know, I even been like that. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. What you doing? You know, because it was just like even people I've known for years, all of a sudden it was just like, you know, I can go back and listen to see different tech me test messages or different emails and stuff like that where I can boldly see where certain things that I overlook a whole bunch of red flags at, you know. And then it was just like, I'm so glad I can be able to see the light today. You know, I had to go through these things, you know, because a lot of times I'm like, damn, it, it happened so many times. I'm used to it. You know, used to it. I'm just like, oh, tally that up with the rest of the folks. You know, and it is what it is. But then it was just like, this is showing you different lessons into your life. Because it's just like I said, if you're triggering somebody and all of a sudden they don't want to talk to you no more and say, hey, you can text me. I don't want to do this. Or if they're going through something and want to use that as the reason why they don't want to talk to you or whatever. You don't trigger something in somebody. And you don't realize that you triggered the heck out of somebody where they they just they don't want to funk with you no more. And I'm not saying the c word. I'm saying it with the n. They don't want to funk with you anymore. They really don't because they don't seen something in you that they can't. You know they they haven't experienced or they feel like they haven't. You know they haven't found that hidden jewel within themselves because it's like we're all teachers and students. Because there may be certain things that you have overcome and they're still having issues with doing that. And it may be something they have overcome that you have issues still dealing with. And both of y'all done triggered up something that needs to be highlighted. And that's where it's showing you never live in doubt because this is like everything through good and bad is teaching you something that you didn't know about yourself. These are the things that didn't shock. Because it's like when I see the different things that I had. I've gone through, you know, because it's just like I didn't have a father figure in my life. The father that I had in my life that really loved me, you know, was kept at a distance, you know. And these different things that, you know, after he passed on, he's seen all the different stuff that I've gone through. And it hurt his soul just to see me go through that. But he, he was doing that to other, other women. And now he had to see me go through that. And that was just something that, you know, it had to be that growth right there. And, you know, a lot of times truth hits us in ways that we didn't see coming. You know, and there was just times where I can sit up here and say that I'm so grateful, even though I didn't ever get a chance to meet my dad. But I'm so grateful he's by my side. He tells me different things that is right and wrong for him doing, you know, for me to be able to accept when it comes to a man that I want to deal with in my life. You know, don't accept nothing. You don't, you don't settle for nothing. You carry them standards really high. And I'm very grateful for my dad being in my life like that because I didn't have that where a man should show me what the wrong and the right is. You know, because it was just so many different toxic things that was going on in my life where I was looking for love in all the wrong places. I was getting, ex you know, I was wanting acceptance from people where I wasn't accepting myself. I was willing to have connections with people that would manipulate me, dog me, that didn't even care about me in my life, but that was what I chose to be around because that's what I was so used to in my life. That I felt like that's how life was. That was what I deserved. And then when I got that smack of reality, like, hells no. <laughs> I love myself. I'm not about to entertain that. You know, it's like, oh, you want this, this, and this, and that? Mm-mm. I'm stingy. I don't like sharing when it comes to my man, my woman, whatever I want to be with at that time. No. If it ain't being respectable, it, it just, I just, I put it on auto tune zero. <laughs> you know, it just go dead silence for me. Radio silence. I go, you know. And it's at that time where it's just like, I, I hold my boundaries up. No means no. You know, if I see somebody lying to me and, and you know, trying to pull wool on my eyes, and I tell people real quick. If you don't approach me, because you were guided by one of your family members that passed on, if I can tell you about your family, even from you not telling me yet, but I can tell you, don't think you about to pull wool over my eyes and lie to me about why you're not talking. It's okay. I'll send you blessing anyway and keep on going. Block you and keep moving. You know, and it'll be that way. And it's not even about, you know, I used to carry animosity for people like that because that's how I went out my way to help you. And this is what you do. You know, I don't gave you certain things that you already know, you know, because it was like, it's hard for us to be able to trust people, especially if you don't gone through things where you've been misguided, you've been mistreated, you know, people lied to you constantly, there was always a scheme, there was always certain things that was hidden, you know, until they felt, see fit for it to be able to knock you when you weren't looking, you know, so family would guide people towards me that passed on and they will give me little insights 
they know there is no possible way for me knowing just for them to say you can trust her I sent you towards her she's going to be able to help you and you're going to help her you know and I've done that and it's just like it got to that point where I can say I'm very grateful I'm very grateful for the people that still support me very grateful for the people that know my backstory and ain't changed a bit you know but I'm also you know uh, appreciative of the people that knew my backstory and they did everything they could to destroy me they did everything to end me they did everything you know to make me look like I was a liar all those different things because it was charged to the game of growth and it allowed me to never doubt myself there'll be days where I gotta take a pause for the cause because I've been going through you know so many changes I've been releasing so many demons of my own and then some of my demons we ate spoon cones it's like I, I gave you a name what's up Cletus you know be alright I'm okay with that I said me and my demons you know, I'm like Al Pacino my demons got many names you know and ain't playing devil's advocate but I'm just saying <laughs> you know and it'll be those type of things where I'm confident in my growth you know, and it took me a long time to step on that pedestal of growth. Not saying I'm on a pedestal where I'm looking down at anybody. If I'm looking down at anybody, it's because I'm helping them up. You know, I don't look down at nobody. Nobody's better than anybody. We're all needing help. We're all in that vibration of where we need to heal. We all need to recognize, you know. And it's just at that point where they tell you never lose doubt in yourself. You know, and there'll be different times where you just question your own existence at times. But that is just where the devil's whispering in your ear because, you know, you're getting too close to your destiny. You're getting too close to discovering the desires of yourself. What you can do. How you can manipulate timelines if you wanted to. And the greater good. I'm not talking about manipulating timelines to where you're creating havoc for other people in their lives and suffering. But how you can make yourself better when you're manifesting stuff. You know, how you're manifesting is why, by you going through these hardships in your life. You, when you didn't love yourself and you, you put so much love in other people and you lack that for giving it to yourself, they're going to you put you in people's lives that mistreat the hell out of you. You know, just for you to be able to say, because it gets to that point where you start getting used to that. And so you, you allow somebody to crap on you on purpose? You allow somebody to use you as a doormat on purpose? Like, baby, you deserve so much better. You need your flowers. Hell, you need your own garden of flowers back in the back for all the love you give out for people. But this is that time for you. All that love you done gave to people that didn't even deserve it, you give that mess to yourself. And when you start giving it to yourself, there will be so many different things you will not entertain. Different things where you see somebody coming at you and it, you and your truth is disturbing the heck out of them. Just because you're keeping it real with yourself. You know, people want to wear a mask. Hell, I, I, I like my face. It's very beautiful. You know, I ain't got time to be sitting up here showing one face this way, some face that way. I tell people real, you know, it's not about you. You know, there's people out there that's comfortable and they made this facade or persona about them, about a person they know they can never be. You know, there's a lot of times you have to let go of people because you had them at a high expectation. They refuse to reach, you know. And it doesn't matter about somebody you loving on or somebody is your family members and stuff like that. Because people feel like, oh, they ain't got no choice. Who told you that? You ain't got no choice. But that's my family. And you ain't got a choice on choosing your family, but you did. These are the different purposes that you chose to create change in. There will be different times I look like, man, I would have kicked my own ass if I would have sit up here and known the stuff that I was signing myself up for. But now, I'm just like, I got that. I don't know how it's going to be when I turn that corner, but I know I got that. You know, it took me a long time to be able to have that courage on my on myself. But it just, when I allowed myself to really take, you know, they always tell you, look at the bigger picture of everything. Because it's so quick for us to see every negative aspect in our lives and being able to say, my life is going to continue to be that way. But no, higher self is telling you, your truth is telling you, your power and your light is telling you, the hidden wonders is telling you, you got this. That's why we put it, instilled this into you. This is like assimilation. Of a whole illusion that you can create. You know. Because it's like when you put all that effort in certain things. That was just going to be a touch and go for you. Or is this going to disappoint you. Just look at how much effort you can put in something that's going to grow you. It's going to magnify you. Put you off the map. Not on the map but clean off of it. You're going to have your own map. You're going to have your own planet. You know. And those are the different things. There's a lot of people that just don't understand you. You can go out there and say something. And people be looking at you. You talking pig Latin gibberish or whatever. I talk fluent impression. 
That's what you got to say. I speak fluid and pressure. You're going to find some folks that are going to understand that language clearly on what you're talking about. And they earn those scars. They earn those stripes. You know, they got different, you know, awards for sitting up here showing how they done got over some stuff. You don't went through nervous breakdowns. You don't have different times of life where you question your own life. You know, you don't sit up here and have choice words for God on how you want to hate him and make him go out of obliterate him for non-existence for all those different things and then it got to that point where stop allowing the level the devil to play levels in your head like that that's what he is good for doing the devil is a lie he's a whole lie <laughs> a whole lot you know and find trying to convince you that you, you you don't have what it takes to overcome something you have overcome so many different things you know, it'll be making me think about, for example, if you're in school, high school, element, you know, uh, middle school, when you had your little boyfriend, a little girlfriend, you don't understand my life. You just don't understand my world is ending because Tommy is not in it or Samantha is not in it. You don't understand. It was like everything to me. And next thing you know, somebody else done popped in the qu Ooh, you know, this other person I've seen you sit up here and sent me a letter. If you like me, press no. Or exists, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, forgot about Samantha and Dad going into the whatever, you know, you know, found somebody else new. What do you think this is going on right now? You going through some hardcore stuff and make you recognize your own. Don't ever sleep on your strength. Don't ever sleep on your throne. You supposed to sit up on there and be placed at it. Don't sleep on it. Don't allow yourself to ab abuse that daggone privilege you have that you letting the enemy take away. God making you know making the devil second guess you to make you second guess yourself because that's why they always say don't ever doubt what you can't manifest into your life because you are have to understand just for the fact that you thinking negative all the time you see how, how hell breaks loose in your life because it's easy to think negative into your life I've known that I've been a main product of that you know that's how I keep it real I, I, I don't sit up here and just cry boo hoo I don't sit up here and gave the enemy so many daggone insights on how to bring me down. You know, and it almost caught me up. And then it was just like, no, you had to go through that. You had to learn what not to be telling folks. Even the folks that be skin and grit in your face telling you they're there for you. And they, yeah, they're there for you, to, but they're more there for themselves. And trying to see how you don't know what people have been talking about to bring you in there. And they bring some people that you would least expect. I'll be looking at the stuff they bring, bring to me and I'm like, Lord, I wish. Why? They didn't think I saw that, but Why? It made it obvious why, you know, but just being at the same thing, I'd be thanking them at the same time because I really that shows me where, oh, oh, I just don't mess with you. I'm seeing where your 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 advantages are, and you feel like where your advantages are not. I'm gonna let you allow yourself to keep doing that. You know, you have to hold that power, and and the doubt can't be in there. You know, we want to go somewhere. You know, you want to be at a certain level. You want to be at a certain frequency. But for us to get there, we have to be able to let fear go. Let what the enemy has done to us, no matter if it was family, you know, people that you don't procreate it with, you know, friends that you don't held, you don't held up on a, a certain pedestal for a long time, you know, all those different things. You know, I, it was just like with me, if I look at it, I used to have like almost, what is it, uh, 3,500 to 4,000 people on my Facebook. And it was people from high school, people that, you know, I was in the military, uh, military family of people that I've been rolling with. We went from different military installation the same you know yada 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 now I got like six people on my stuff just because I don't want to deal with nobody no more you don't talk when my truth came out the horns of you know came out real quick and it was like oh okay you don't gave me that vibe mm. gave me that vibe next thing you know you start coming over here block block okay you know they can see me but you can't you know the universe and God will place you in a certain situation where your enemies will see you but can't touch you and they tell you, don't be all fear and trembling. You already know who you represent. You know who got your back. If God got your back, bump whoever else is going up against you. Because he placing that vibration on you to teach you some things about yourself. And a lot of times you have to admit, God going to be cruel to be kind to you. He going to show you pain through the love of him. And he doing that because he's showing you to be strict on being careful about what you don't put out in them streets about yourself. Stop telling the left hand what the right hand doing. Never tell somebody what your next move is. Real G's move in silence. You know, there are a lot of times you want to be able to celebrate, you know, that next level of what you're doing. But not every, you got to be able to go ahead and you put something out there and see who people are genuinely congratulating you. 
And it can be people that you would have thought that was your friends, your family, your best friends, your baby mama, your baby daddy. All those different things. See who's going to generally be happy for you for those accomplishments. They say, you, you show me your friends, I show you you. That's why I say I'm glad I'm by myself. <laughs> I'm glad I'm by myself. I'm good on my own. You know, I'm grateful for the people I got in my side. I'm grateful for the people that support me. Hell, I'm even, like I said, I'm even grateful for the enemies that did some stuff to me. You know, because it, it was all about my growth. They charge it to the game of growth. Because you be placed in these certain situations where it's just the fact is when you get very uncomfortable, that's letting you know you're leveling up. When things start getting uncomfortable, you are not allowing those situations to beat you. You're not allowing the enemy to whatever he's trying to trigger you. All those things is demolishing and dissolving your old toxic patterns, your habits, your thoughts. Because you're allowing yourself to know if it's coming in connection with you, it's teaching you some things. If somebody doing something, you take your power back. You take the attention. It's like where you want to allow that to deaden off, take the power back. That means you're taking away the attention. When you're allowing yourself to do something, you can, no matter, you can be enraged. But you don't understand the power of magnitude of silence. You know, you have to be that way. Like, oh, you took, you took note on that. Yeah, girl, I took note on that. All right, okay. You're going to get back to business, y'all. You don't keep on going. You know, and this is letting you know you're strengthening yourself. You're not allowing yourself to get wrapped up in other people's fear of projections on you. You know, you're going through growth and growth ain't going, growth don't come easy to you. Strength don't come easy to you. Self-love is not going to come easy to you. Because then it's going to allow your, yourself to know when you start respecting yourself, you know your worth, you know what you want. You got that love for yourself. You ain't going to allow something just to come in and just, just doing anything. You know, a lot of people be just doing certain things just to make you look bad. And it's look, making them look bad. Because anybody with a good self-esteem is going to see it for what it is. Like, you know, could there be different times I used to look at certain things and be like, what the hell? I don't, I don't see why. <laughs> you know, I don't see why. But then it's just like. I had to turn my disgust to the point of me being appreciated because it showed me what level I'm no longer connected with because when you start moving in connections there'll be just things that's just not gonna rock with you like it used to when you can't be in you know manipulated no more persuaded anymore oh you hate it and then you treat it like any kind of thing when you they can't they you can't serve towards the enemy's purpose you can't do that you know and then it'll be you become the enemy you become the villain you like okay I get to that point where I'm not even going to prove you right. I'm proving you wrong. I'm going to just keep doing me. And that's going to let you know where my, my, you know, my thoughts is, where my vibration is. But these are just showing you. When you get to that point, you're going to look back and you're going to see it yourself and self say, hmm, look how much you done grown from the things that has been placed on to destroy you. But it magnified you at all at one time. You know, things was taken away to be able to show you there's so much better. Other things is about to be in its place. Yeah, I was in solitude and isolation, but it showed me I can trust me. I can be my own best friend. People around me, I don't have to second guess where your motives are, what your intentions are. Are you there for me or are you there for you? Are you benefiting off of me? Are you benefiting off of the strength that I have because it's helping you as it's helping me? You know, when you have to question stuff like that, I want to be around you. <laughs> I don't want to be around you. If I got to be selective, ah. I should be able to keep that, that vibration should stay the same at all times. The only time it should change is if that magnifying on that trust and that appreciation, that admiration is getting stronger. And that's that's something that's being reciprocated. Like, man, I like being around them because they make me want to be better. And as they're making me want to be better, I'm helping them become better. You know, that's my best friend. That's my ace. We go back like four flats. You know, cooler than the ice cubes in the freezer. When you can get folks like that in your life, because it's like a lot of times it may feel lonely on the journey we're on. It may feel lonely on that walk we're taking. You know, a lot of times, you know, people are taken out of our lives because at that vibration, they're not at that right, right vibration, just like you're not in that right vibration. And if it's meant to be, and I'm not trying to say because sometimes you're like, ooh, she mean that something, something, something come back. No, because if it's toxic, that ain't coming back. You don't, you don't even want it to come back because that's stunting you. That's blocking you. You know, those are the things that's keeping you because it's just the way you think, the way you say things, how you keep looking at things, where your mind keep manifesting on, on what she did. She, You know, Tom, Dick, and Harry, all them things that they did. You just manifesting that back. 
But now it's just like when you can catch yourself on what was supposed to be observed, you, what is it teaching you? Mm, okay, move on, keep going. Don't allow that to bring your attention. It just brought you, you know, it brought it to light and that's all it's supposed to be. You ain't got to keep dwelling on it. Just keep wishing, you know, just, just keep praying. That's all you got to do is just keep praying. But then it's going to get to that point when you get further down that road, you're going to have people in your life that is going to really get, they're going to be fluent in the vibrations you manifest in. You know, and they're going to be those type of people that's going to help you manifest more. They're going to be those ones that's going to be that, that you're that jewel, you're that gem, you're that diamond. You know what I'm saying? And you're that going to be that person like they want to see you grow. They cheering you on. They ain't cheering to make sure you fall or they cheering to sit up here and say, I'm going to make sure whatever they're doing, I got to sit up here and catch that because I don't want them winning. No, you're going to have people in your life that's really going to be dropping some gems of insight to you that is going to carry on to collaborate with something else. They're about to help you get towards different blessings because your enemies are already going to help you get to your blessings. Your enemies are already blessed you to recognize in your strength. But these are going to be some different things on a whole different level where this ain't going to drain you. ain't going to have you stressed. It ain't going to have you all up in your head making you doubt different things. These are the people that is going to want to see you grow. This is that one that's going to help you get towards that next level and they're going to stay keeping you on that next level. They're going to keep you on your toes. And you're going to understand why you had to go through these things where people were dogging you or people were just disrespecting you. You know, people that didn't want you to be able to become a better person. These people want to see the best version of you, but they want to see more. Like you, you got something in this thing. It's like I may not know what it is yet, but it's something about you that God done sent me towards you, universe done sent me towards you, and I want to see so much manifesting you. You know, and that's your manifesting vibe, and you're gonna really understand why you had to go through that stuff before with all these other people. Because they took you to that next level, but you had to leave them where they were at. You know, you can still wish people well. You know, you can't you you know, like it's that vibe. You can't try to always make people look bad you ain't looking good by making people look bad you can't be destroying every people's life and then expect blessings to come in your life you know god don't bless mess he don't you know but what he is blessing you even through your hardship he's blessing you in some kind of way because this is showing you what where you don't need to be at anymore and this is showing you where i can look back at all the hard times i had you know, where I felt like I couldn't stop smoking uh, marijuana anymore. Where I felt like I always had a drink to d just numb me. You know, or a cigarette just to give me on that, that, that woo-saw vibration. Now it's just like me praying. Me going to watch something funny. You know, something that's going to uplift me. Go listen to some music. Do something that makes me feel good. Work out. You know, sing. You know, th these are the different things that I'm doing to create that stillness in my life. That, that grounding, you know, that grounding that I needed. You know, I'm not using, you know, uh, coping mechanisms. I'm not using addictions to get that from me anymore because it's like my body don't even tolerate it no more. You know, it's like, Rosalind, come with yourself. You know, stop looking for the easy way out. That's only stunting you. You know, get something that's going to apply towards the growth, not take it away. You know, and that's what we're doing. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to get a post notification shout out to uh, Carl uh, Fouquet. Uh, Bill Flippin and Farrah Hazard. Much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below, as well as my link to my podcast as well from Spotify. Um, just having a uh, spiritual networking is just to give you a brighter perspective or a deeper perspective of your purpose. You know, different things people share with me about the things they've gone through in their life and really needing the answers for that or just wanting my insight to see what where it was coming from. And I try my best to be able to help people. And I, you know, I never allow, I don't allow myself to place judgment on anybody. I tell you, as long as you ain't touching little kids and pushing old folks down the deck on flight of stairs, we cool. You know, huh? there's, there's two things I don't mess with. But I say I try not to place no judgment on no Nobody and make anybody feel small you know I try to do people like they do me so I help people out the best way I can whatever we speak on is confidential and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation also you know cast app is there as well so I hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe at all you do and you know um, whatever you're trying to manifest in your life I've seen so many beautiful you know uplifting abundant prosperity vibes towards your way they open so many doors that no man can shut you know all these blessings that are coming towards your way they won't be stopped 
You know, allow yourself to keep being consistent and persistent. You may feel like giving up today because the enemy knew that your blessings was coming tomorrow. So don't allow yourself, don't live in regret on what you should have did when you could have. All right. You'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.